Hi, in this clip I'm going to show you how to install the Android emulator on your computer. You can use it to test your applications that you develop with Magic XPA for the various Android devices. Just remember that the emulator doesn't have all of the features of a regular device and it might not behave exactly as the device, but it's very helpful to test your applications when you don't have access to all of the various devices. Uh, to run the emulator, you need to have two things on your computer, which you can see here. One is the JDK, the 5 or 6, as well as Android SDK. And uh, if you want to see how to install both of these, if you don't have them yet on your computer, you can go into the Magic XPA help. In the search, just type in Android emulator. And you'll get one topic here called Mobile Development Environment. And actually, it's part of a very nice concept paper about developing for mobile. But right now, we just want to find here the links. So you can scroll down to this Mobile Device Simulator section and you'll see her two links. The first link is for installing JDK, which actually if you installed the web services component, when you install Magic XPA, you'll already have it on your computer. And the second link is for downloading Android SDK. Now, since I already have it on my computer, Android SDK, we'll just go here to the start menu, click on SDK manager, and we'll wait for it till it opens. And there you go. Now you need to select the Android versions that you want to test your application on. And for each version that you want to run the simulator for, you need to select at least the SDK platform component. So let's say here in 4.22, I'd want to install the SDK platform. And you can see I already have that installed on my computer. To create a custom application, you need to install the Android 3.0 SDK platform over here, which also is already installed on my computer. So it's Android 3.0 API 11, and that is used for compilation only. The client will still be able to run on Android 2.3.3, which is API 10. So we need the SDK platform for API 11 for compilation and the SDK platform for any other API. So each one here, if you open it up, has an SDK platform. Now, if you click on one that's not yet installed, you'll have this install package button enabled and you click on that and it will install it for you. Now, since I already have the versions that I want installed on my computer, we want to open the AVD manager, which is the Android Virtual Device Manager. And again, if we go to the Start menu, click here on the AVD manager. And here we're on the Android Virtual Devices tab. There's also a Device Definitions tab, which also lets you create new devices. But we're going to use this first tab, Android Virtual Devices. And to define a new one, we're going to click here on New. In the AVD name, we're going to give it a name, let's say just Android for demo, for instance, and the device. Here you have all the various devices, but also when you scroll down a bit, you have more general devices. So we're going to click here 4.0, and I'm going to select this uh, target. And here when you click the pull down menu here, you'll see the various Android versions that you installed earlier in the SDK manager. Okay, and the only other field that we want to set here is the SD card size. We're going to put here 20, for example. And this value here defines the storage that's available on the device. And it's important to store the cache and temporary files. So you should define it to at least 10. Now, after the device creation is complete, by clicking OK, the device is added here to the list. What we did until now was we defined an Android virtual device with certain characteristics. And we can define different virtual devices with different characteristics. So now, whenever we want to run the application on a device, we need to open the AVD, which is right here, select the device that we want, and click Start to run the emulator. And then Launch, and the emulator opens up. And then we wait for the emulator to run. It, it might take a bit of time, but just have a little patience and it will run. And there you go. You see that it's up and running on your computer. The next step is to install the Magic XPA application on the emulator. And this will be covered in another clip. Thanks and join us again soon for some more magic.